The Waldorf at Basingstoke in Hampshire was not built for you. It was a modern, purpose-built cinema that was taken over by the company. Basingstoke Theatres Limited had been the promoting company, and the cinema was acquired by Union in 1937, shortly after it opened. The Waldorf was a pleasant, if somewhat plain, property, and held 863 seats, though some sources indicate a larger capacity of 1,250. The grand Basingstoke had a striking exterior and patrons would be in no doubt that this was a union cinema in view of the enormous lettering on the front. In 1990, if the inside still survived in this style, it would be fascinating. And look at the shape of the centre stall seats. Down at the front, <laughs> the seats were nothing like as sumptuous. In the 20s, this must have been a real picture palace, and the proscenium seems to have a front set of swags that were painted on canvas flats. The Grand seated 588 on one floor, and Union relinquished control of it in 1939. Later on, it was taken over by Basingstoke Corporation. The Plaza Basingstoke came from Casey's Theatres Limited. In pursuance of Union's policy of blanket coverage in any town, they acquired this cinema too. The plaza was no architectural prize winner, but it was a modern cinema. Very little attempt had been made to disguise the line of the outside roof from inside the auditorium, and the principal lighting features were indirect troughs from the clear story of the ceiling. The plaza was another one-floor cinema and seated 700. <laughs>